Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to a game that you all had suggested that I take a look at, Modern Warfare, but with a little bit of a twist. Welcome to Phantom Brigade. Good to see you all here, and thanks for the suggestion as we take a look at yet another, well, I would say RTS, but a turn-based style with robots. What? Yeah, absolutely cool looking too. They actually look like uh, they are actually tanks with legs rather than just being super futuristic for no reason, and this game looks wonderful. Let's take a Sorry look. Sorry to strap you in so early today, Lieutenant, but we'll have to cut our checks short. Wow, that looks great. We lost the town comms last night, and I'd like you to take a look at the tower. We have half a click north from here. All right, we're going to get a short little guided tutorial, WASD, to look around. You got it. Let's take a look around the town, by the way. So it looks like maybe somewhere in Europe we're defending against what could be a possible invasion. Looks like a lot of defensive towers here. And uh, possible something else, maybe bunkers of some sort with sensors attached to them. So this is the border between us and another country. Uh-oh, wait a minute. There is a, uh, someone was messing with the comms right there. Oh, we're going to get invaded, baby. All right, we're going to have to defend, I guarantee it. Looks like we got three characters here. Okay, let's go ahead and move our first one. So if you like turn-based games, this is definitely for you with the whole XCOM being very popular, by the way. And this looks clean, and I like the fact that it's also involving modern warfare, too. So, basically, modern-day weapons, but also with robots added in without just saying, hey, we need to get rid of all these tanks and everything else that already exists to make room for robots. Let's go, baby! Yeah! All right, let's go check out that tower. Hey, Lieutenant. We're still installing the prototype in my rig, so don't hog all the action till I catch up. Yes, it's not the most exciting test run of our new tech, but we've got people here counting on us, so let's move out. Oh, that's the lady there. Cool. Oh, wow, these actually look like they could be missile compartments or something. That one's heavily armed with the uh, big old gun, too. Pretty sweet, actually. Okay, let's continue on with the patrol. Make our way down the road, so let's select, move, and go. Next turn. Man, those look awesome. That is just so cool. civilians. HQ, this is Special Field Ops Team Bravo requesting immediate repair detail. Over. This is HQ. Negative, Commander. Repair detail busy until further notice. Stand by. What could they be busy with? Well, let's see if we can't do a little more recon. Boot up that shiny new device Ops installed in your rig and we'll see what she's made of. Uh, activate the prototype system. Boot up. Theoretically. This prototype can predict a short time into the future, allowing us an incredible advantage. Oh. This could change war forever. But as long as we have it, our citizens will be safe. Oh, that's cool. So we've just got one side of the tower. If she's warmed up, you should be able to see where I'm yeah. moving and flank the opposite side. Okay. So this will allow us to see, like, what the enemy will do in real time, somewhat predicting off of current events what will shortly happen in the future. So it'll help us to plan things without having to quick load like a noob all the time. All right. Well, let's head over here then and find out what's going on on the border. We're on our way, Commander. Hmm. An tank. Whoa, what? And no transponder. What the hell? Uh oh, that Is looks some surprise war games maneuver. An anti-aircraft gun. We have an unmarked non-cooperative tank at location 2SBR15. Confirm intent, over. HQ, confirm, over. Lieutenant, oh, no. I'm getting a heat signature from the tank's power core. Check your prototype. If that tank even twitches, cripple it. Damn straight. Let's open up on him. And let's see, we also need to retreat while firing. Because it looks like that tank's going to move forward. Oh, that's so cool how that works. I love this. That's really neat. So it actually shows us what our teammate's going to do. So he's going to be retreating. But we should probably do the same and we'll keep up with the tank while shooting at it. Always a good idea to keep moving. All right, yeah, rather than standing still. Plus, we don't have cover. We're gigantic robot. We have to go behind mountains for cover. Or, in this case, giant buildings. So this is going to be like a Godzilla battle here very soon. That's going to be awesome. Let's do it. All right, execute. Get wrecked. Is that tank? Oh, it looks like it's disabled. Good read on the tank. I'm hit, but just a scratch. Nice. It ain't going nowhere. 
I'm picking up multiple targets from the north. My god, this can't be right. Take cover! Take cover! Whoa. Full-scale invasion. New enemy contacts on the field. All right, retreat. Take cover. All right, we're going, this Commander. Is no war game. Commander, multiple contacts just appeared on our forward slope. Weapons ready. Treat us hostile. This is not a drill. Oh, no. Intercept and protect the town. We're on our way. Roger. They're invading us. HQ, come in. HQ, do you read? HQ, come in. Pin down by two threads. Returning fire. Hell yeah. Come get some. Woo! Commander, no! Commander! Taking defensive position. The commander's down, but we have to focus. We have citizens to protect. Damn straight. There's a walker on multiple treads on approach. Remember, if Ooh. things go to hell, set self-destruct and punch out so they can't salvage our prototype. Whoa. Whatever they happens, greatly let's outnumber us. R09. We got three tanks on our right, two tanks on our left, plus a walker. Oh my goodness. Uh, eject. Let's see. More actions have been unlocked, and remember you can repeat an action multiple times. Okay. So we got SMG, assault rifle. Oh hell, we better hire, fire heavy. Can we command her too? Oh yeah, looks like we can command both. Oh, she can actually shield here. Alright. Lock that shield down. And let's see. Can you activate the shield and then like start shooting from behind it? Select target unit. Well, I don't want to use the shield on that. Let's uh, go back in the timeline here. Oh, heavy shotgun. Oh, the enemy's got to get really close for this. I don't really want to run into enemy fire. I like how we're supposed to defend the uh, civilians. And really, the only thing we're going to be able to defend uh, is by staying behind the houses and exchanging cover from, like, the corner of the house. That's great. This is fine. This is totally fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can immediately shield. Facing that way. And then see if we can... Wait, shield? Select targeting unit. Well, I mean... Okay, she's going to go forward and then start shielding. And then maybe shotgun that unit? I don't know how far the shotgun works. Obviously not not great. Probably not a good distance, but... Uh, uh, low hit chance, 14% effectiveness. Oh, that's not great. Okay, let's try this guy. Or where are we supposed to go? Anywhere else to retreat? Nope. Okay. So she's got a shotgun and shield. That's it. Man, what are these other options? Uh, wait. Oh, we could actually wait for them. Okay, well, let's try that. Wait. We can only see so far into the future what the moves are going to be that they'll make. So, like, we got no choice but to take cover on either side of what seems to be an elementary school. All the elementaries I went to had a uh, little garden and, of course, explosive barrels nearby. As one is to, uh, you know, go through as a child. <laughs> All right, let's go there and then start opening fire on some of these units. Oh, they got a really long range. Let's go there and then, like, just wait, I guess. Actually, no, let's just do that as one turn. Let's try this. Take cover. Get off the road. We're seeing how everything works, so that's kind of cool. And then uh, wait turns there, so... Everything seems good, so let's execute. Shields up, yep. Oh, man. Not the elementary school, you sick... Alright. Primary attack. Looks like this one on the right is going to come forward. It looks like one's going to come straight in. This guy. Hmm. Four seconds in, though. We can open fire on this guy with a 93% chance to hit. And then hit this guy. Can we do two? Overlap. Secondary actions not uh, cannot overlap. Units attack and move at the same time. Okay, so we can't fire in two different directions. Is she going to or hit? Yeah, okay, one or two. Okay, let's try that. Let's see how this works. I'll get the hang of it. Okay, let's see how that works. Alright, let him have it, boys. Yeah! Woo! Get wrecked. 
Alright, just gotta let him get close, I guess. We don't really have tank range, unfortunately. Okay, shotgun. Is that unit completely destroyed? Uh, let's see. Unknown, unidentified pilot. There's your main body. Wow, it even takes into account... Oh, wow, this is much more complex than I thought it would be. Let's see, integrity, damage. That, that vehicle actually looks like it's destroyed, but I don't know for sure. Let's just hit the damn thing again to make sure. Uh, let's see. Yep. So she's going to attack that one. We'll attack this one. Okay. Execute. Confirmation needed. Unit without orders. Oh. Right. Well, she be told to ex open fire there. There we go. That was in the past. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked. So it looks like we play five seconds of the game at a time. Okay. So let's go ahead and start running. So we can meet Big Boy here and come up behind him and blast his ass. Wait. Let's come this way. Now we should be able to hit him here with the primary attack. Nice. Looks like it's going to be way too late. Ah, so we do it via the timeline. All right, that'll work. We just don't want to get surrounded here. And yeah, then she should have another shot at something, literally. Let's try this weapon here. Should be close to it. Maybe another chance to hit this guy? Okay. I'm getting the hang of this, actually. If you know what you're doing already by watching this, uh, this is going to be really fun, I think, for you. Because now that I'm learning what to do, this is actually quite cool. Not as great of an attack here, but... We'll pull back this way. And we'll hit that tank a second time. On our second attack. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, get wrecked, son. Beautiful. All right, let's hit the lieutenant again. Wait, wait. Cancel, cancel all those. Cancel. Let's work on her and have her attack again. Looks like she's already set to attack again. Let's keep working on that. Then let's fall back into the town. Dude, this is so cool that we can actually try to plan our moves out. And then once you're right about here... Oh, we can only go so far into it. Okay. We're going to start pulling back. Okay. Love it. And hit that unit again. That's already planned out. But once that attack is over, fall back and we'll be next to her. And we'll see what our next moves are. How many units are we down to? I guess we just want to try to stay alive. We need to protect the town. If things get too hot, retreat to the evac point. Eliminate all enemies and stay alive. Okay. Oh, dude, yeah. Oh, that dude's down. Hell yeah. Or very wounded. Good job. All right, team. Let's turn it up against the tank. Hit him. Double down on that tank, both teams. Nice. Once the attacks are done, let's start getting into this fight now. How many units are left? I see two here so far, and possibly this unit is crippled. The uh, ro robot walker. Texas Ranger. 
You remember that show? Walker was a great show. I love that. That show was great. All right, low hit chance due to frontal armor. The vehicle doesn't seem to be moving anyway, so let's just put some fire on it. Dude, it looks like we can command multiple units, too, including tanks. That's going to be awesome. All right, hopefully this tank is dead. That one there. Let's try this one next. So once we get into position, fire here. Yeah, not great to engage at front, but we got to defend the town. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, what the hell? Nuclear launch detected. That's actually the escape pod, probably, don't you think? All right, what do we got going on? Let's see. All right, we got ourselves a tank here that's advancing forward, but it looks like it's going to stop, so let's get behind him. Oh, he's retreat. Oh, he's going to retreat. Does that mean that he's going to pull a 180 and we can actually shoot him in the more vulnerable armor, perhaps? Well, let's try to hit him here. Actually, that explosion could possibly damage us. Is that what that means? Is that there'll be an explosion radius? Hmm. Let's wait till we get a little further. Then engage. And then maybe fire again one more time. Cool. So we get to work five seconds at a time. That's awesome, dude. That's so cool. I love this. These are not typically the type of games that we play on this channel for those of you uh, longtime members and subscribers. By the way, if you haven't subbed already, now's a great time if you're really liking this. This is really cool. And welcome again to all the new members, and thanks for smashing like, because this is not the type of thing I play, but I really like it. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked, son. Woo! Dude, I want a unit that can smash with a sword. Oh, I almost had the last tank, bro. Man, I can't help but to think Generation Zero with this. This is awesome. Woo! Get him, boys. Oh, Well, we almost had that last damn tank, but regardless of victory. So many lives lost. So much devastation. This isn't what I wanted for you. I thought you'd be born in a time of peace and prosperity. Of love among people. But the world is so different now. Wow, that looks so cool. Tanks patrol the streets. Neighbors turn on neighbors. People disappear in the night. They keep telling us this is temporary. That we'll come to love our new way of life. Somehow... I don't believe them. I want to give you the freedom I once had. But how can we few do that alone? We can't keep hope alive for much longer. We pray that someone, anyone, will answer our call. Yeah, I'm sure nobody hurt. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, I don't think anybody heard that at all. Campaign mode. Welcome to the Phantom Brigade Early Access. Pressing shift tab will open the bug reporter, etc., etc. Well, we have ourselves a mobile base. Uh, navigation bar allows you to switch between pause menu. Uh, world information bar allows you to switch game speeds. Okay, cool. Widget pre uh, presents information on objects in the world. Wow, we got full-scale invaded, baby. Mobile base. Base of operations vehicle capable of storing and servicing an entire squad of mechs. Nice. 
Uh, left click on objects to select them, WASD to move around, and R and F to tilt. Right, we got it. Cool. Well, well, what do we have here? Mountain base. That might be controlled by the enemy. Here's our mobile base here. So just like an... Oh, this is like... um, What was that, that movie where like the giant cities move and stuff? I forget the name of that one. It was really cool, though. Mortal Engines, I believe it was called. Was that it? And uh, anyway... Well, we're going to move close then and deploy the mechs and start taking out targets. What is this place? So this, I guess, would be the entire invaded country in which we were trying to protect. And we're now... I guess each one of these are a base where we're occupied. Oh, these are all different tone... Oh, wait, this is... Oh, this is definitely like... Swede well, actually, I don't know if the Swedes use the O with the slash. That could be Denmark or Norway. Regardless... Scandinavians been invaded by... <laughs> yes, this is basically exactly what I wanted. An, like a turn base Generation Zero. This is so cool. Although I don't know if any of these places exist. Maybe this one does. Friedrichstad. That could be it. Anaborg. Gersund. Uh, Egdal. Very nice. Oh, these are actually... Some of these are locations that are factories too. So capturing each of these will probably give us some sort of a different bonus towards our mech. Like for example... Uh, more points for upgrades, or a new mech, or resources for the mechs. That's kind of cool. All right. Very nice. Well, I guess first things first, let's move in towards that mountain base. New beginning. It's time to take back Svadia. Or Norway or Denmark. Whatever. We should start with the mountain base, the last outpost that belonged to the Phantom Brigade. Should still have some spare supplies and parts to help get back on our feet. All right, let's do it. Well, this is really cool. This is much more than I thought it would be, actually. All right, reclaim the base. Let's suit up. Oh, edit units. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. This is like uh, the cutscene of when uh, Megazord gets assembled in Power Rangers, dude. That is awesome. Well, I don't know if we have much to edit, but let's just go with this for now. And it looks like this is a briefing of what we'll see from enemies, maybe. Okay, let's just deploy. Starting combat. Point of no return. Make sure your squad is pro uh, properly outfitted. Well, let's just start with mission one. That's all right. Take a look at the upgrades later. All right. Let's see. Bravo one, we're seeing two mechs approaching from the west, requesting immediate support. I'm getting negative response from my IFF. Uh, thre uh, treat these walkers as hostile. Roger that. Heading out. Make take a bit. Place is falling apart. Elevators are taking their sweet time. You got it. Time to invade. Counter invasion now. Okay, so what do we got? Eliminate all hostiles as soon as possible. Next wave is on turn two. Oh, so there's actually a base here. Oh, dude, look at that vehicle. That's sweet. Love that. Yeah, so the Scandinavians, due to the Cold War, built a lot of uh, bases underground, a lot of air bases and stuff. I've seen a few of those in Sweden. They're really cool stuff. Actually, in person, that you can go inside and take a look at, like, the Yas Griefen and other things like that, too that the Swedes built and hid inside the mountains. Very clever to use the uh, terrain to their advantage. I guess you could say they had the high ground, even though they were built on the ground. Underground. They had the underground. Okay. Well, we got a couple of tanks to defeat, and I don't know if that's the big boy we have to beat or not, but I'm starting to get the hang of this, and I'm loving this, dude. I'm going to ba da ba on this one. Let's see. What do we want to do here? Okay, if we go right and flank this guy. Flanking is really important in this game. I way underestimated that. How long does this take? More than five seconds. All right, let's get to here. And we'll call that the end of our first turn. We'll be in cover. Then unit one. Let's get you to cover two. Can we take cover, like, down here, maybe? I don't know if they can shoot us from down... Oh, maybe. Well, at least we'll mostly be in cover. That's probably fine. Go, go, go! All right. Wow, our units are just made up of, like, survivors and remaining parts. All right, lady. You're ready to sit put, I guess. That vehicle's going to come forward. Kind of hidden there. Oh, looks like they're both going to come for her. Ooh, this could be good. If we go this way and lure them into an attack, we could actually ambush them. Let's see here. Yeah, we could actually get behind that unit and start causing some damage. He's there now. Let's get there and then timeline right here. Open fire. And we can continue to move. 
while opening fire on that unit again. That'll be a whole five seconds. So let's open another attack here. Dude, I love this. I'm starting to understand. My, my brain is growing. Yes. I must have taken my Flintstone vitamins this morning. I am just absolutely thrilled with this. This is so cool. I'm really starting to get a hang for this one. I wonder if we uh, shield down in the middle. If she runs this way, it's only a few seconds. So let's try to run. Let's actually cancel that run. And let's go this way with her. What my hope would be to do is to try to get her here. And then, boom. And then once we're going this way, right towards the end. Wow, this is like being John Madden playing out a military attack. This is like, if 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 the enemy uh, launches launches uh, launches an attack, then that that's a, that's a blitzkrieg. Thanks, John. Appreciate the support. Wow, some of you kids are never. That is a boomer reference. I apologize. All right, let's see. Can we attack from here? Oh, that's four seconds in right here. Okay, well, we'll be in a good position to attack next time, so let's give that a shot. Get to cover! Get wrecked, nerd! Oh, nice! Is this tank about to explode? Looks like it's taking a hell of a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Absolutely is that a lot of damage. damage. That's right. Uh, intercepted comms. Engaging, let's deal with them and report to command. There's been no activity here for a while. Okay, let's continue to open fire on these two. So run a gun, baby. You take shots at that one. Continue to open fire on them. Yep, go for it. You should probably keep running, though. So while you're shooting, just kind of keep rolling this way. You'll probably be dead by then. And then we can turn our attention to this guy. Uh, oh, I don't know if he's going to move, though. They are deploying a mech now. It's a low hit chance, but we can keep moving north. Ah, we can inter intercept this guy. Perfect. Well, she seems to be have the heavier armored mech, so let's continue to, you know, bro down with these dudes. Now, for this mech, let's take another shot at uh, this one right away. First move in the timeline, take a shot. Just like every time I say perfect, take a shot, same thing. Yeah, let's go here. What is it? Does this mean we can go into, like, melee or something? Like, look at that. Uh, Rock'em Sock'em robot fight right there. Psh, psh, psh. Okay. Uh, let's fire again. Oh, wait. It's an overlap. How's that overlapping? It's just very little. Just a little bit, I guess. Now, let's do it on the timeline. We'll be able to shoot him again. As he's running away. Okay. And then let's chase him after that. No, don't. Start running only after this. Uh, I want him staying still, though. I want to stay behind him. Okay, let's see if this works. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, nerd. This tank is either disabled or heavily damaged. All right, ma'am. Go ahead and open up on him. Let's see. Uh, let's take another shot here. Is there any more tanks coming out? More units to the east, maybe? Yeah, let's get that tank out of the way. I don't even know if this thing is dead. Don't care. Having fun. Doesn't matter. Having fun. Oh, nice. 100% effectiveness. Go, girl. Stand here and shoot him. We're supposed to keep moving, but he's they're the ones doing the moving. We'll do the shooting. Keep hitting him until he explodes. Alright, let's see what happens. I don't think he can survive that many shotgun blasts. Whoa, he did! Nope. Nope. Oh, boy. Wow. She ripped him apart. Damn straight. Good work. Oh, wow. That whole operation only took 20 seconds? Dude. It's kind of cool. I like that. Loot breakdown. Oh, are these units that we actually... Uh... Oh, if we destroy these units, we don't get salvaged from them. 
But this one's intact, so we have salvageable equipment. Okay, I wonder if that's random or if there's a way to disable enemy vehicles. Seems like it'd be easier to disable a mech, shoot the legs off, and maybe they'll surrender or something like that. That's cool. All right, site inventory. So it looks like we captured a bunch of stuff inside. Body parts and other weapons and uh, subsystems that we can use. Oh, that is really cool. Felheim. Let's see, handy base where we can uh, recruit pilots and build smoke screens. Also use the mountain base as your fallback outpost when necessary. All right, so now we have a real base. Post-combat routine, we can salvage, nice. Let's see, manufacture a smoke screen. Well, let's give it a shot. Might come useful in future missions. All right, so now we have a base of operations. Uh, oh, I like the, the whole, like, topography geographical map. That's kind of cool. Salvaging is still taking place, so let's hold hold on. So the next place to go to would be the farm at Bergen. Far soon. This must just be a fictional thing here. Because I don't think any of these areas exist. But I could be wrong. I have a feeling some Swedes made this game, or Danes, or whomever. Let's see. Everything's done here. All right, I guess we can leave now that the base is under our control. So let's make our way to another base. Or a patrol squad. Well, this seems to be closer, doesn't it? All right, let's make our way there. Oh, there's a patrol on the way. Station reserve patrol squad. Well, let's engage them. Ah, a fortress as well. All right, let's engage a squad. Uh, let's see, recommended to repair any damage before f uh, fielding a unit. Fatigue, damage. So how would we repair these units then? Maybe back at the base? That might be a way. Let's keep fighting though. We'll confirm that. So again, keep in mind, this is a first look at kind of what this game has to offer. And in the future, if you guys want to see a full playthrough, we can always take a look at it more seriously. But waiting for countdown timers and repairs and such might not be as interesting to watch. But if we plan to do a full campaign, as this game is definitely demanding, that will be a good excuse to uh, take our time with every single move. This here just seems to be a tank and a mech. So let's see what we can do to cause a lot of damage. Well, the mech is definitely going to be perfect to take head on here. By head on, I basically mean moving this way. So that's our five seconds worth of movement. So maybe towards the end here, we could. Yep, he's going to be within range to attack. So let's change our move. Love this. We park there. Should be able to attack him right at the end. Weapon effectiveness is not going to be so great there. But here it might be. As he gets a little closer. Cool, we'll take the mech out first. I wonder if there's ways where we can assign our uh, people to go in differently. Looks like we have some cover here. It looks like we can only get right up in that enemy's face. So no good for the attack. Well, we can try to shield at the end. There we go. We'll face that enemy. All right, let's see how this works. Get wrecked, son. All right, ma'am. Forget the shield. Go ahead and start opening fire as soon as they get close. Looks like we've attracted both of their attention. So if at the end of your move you wouldn't mind to start shotgunning them to death. Another move there. It's an interesting way to plan these moves out. I really like this. And this is my first time doing this, so I'm really enjoying just hopping in and getting all dirty here. This is nice. Okay, let's try to flank again. 
trying to take these tanks and things on from the side. So if we do an attack from here, we can shoot at him as well. Oh. And we'll have to do another attack. We can even see their attacks too, so we can plan out according to what they'll do and respond to it. Really neat. Hopefully that's enough. Seems like it'll come to an end no matter what we do, so let's make sure the tank is destroyed. Uh, is that it? Two units? Okay, let's just see how it goes. This is really cool to see. Nice! We got him! Alright. Now I think one of our units was heavily damaged, so... We might be able to get some parts from this. And, uh, wow, 10 seconds is all that took. Very cool. And now we can salvage. Nice. So there's an enemy fort there. So we might be able to get some bonuses from the fort. This is the scan range of the battle unit that we have. That's cool. Do I like this? Damn. What do you guys think about this game? What do you like? What don't you like? Would this be a game you'd like to play all the way through? I definitely think this is awesome. If you've ever seen games like uh, Generation Zero and XCOM, this is definitely a great mix of the two. Plus, if you like real-time strategy, this is kind of real-time strategy, except you plan out the moves in turn base, if you know what I mean. Like, you're planning out five seconds at a time in real time, but you get to do it ahead of time. That's confusing, I know. But that is cool. How do we repair our units, then? Yeah, we gotta get these units up and running then. Ah, there we are. Initiate repairs. Go for it. Repair progress initiated. That's gonna say, take six hours. Initiate repairs, yep. So now we just gotta move across the map now. That's cool. So now we go back to the map, and we can go towards the HQ. So is the only way to pass time by staying mobile? Maybe. Or we can go back to the mountain base, or we can avoid those targets and just continue to take out patrols. But I think we should move towards the farm, build up our strength, and then take on the fort. Actually, wait a minute. Here it says garrison level 2. This is a garrison level nothing. And that one also says easy. And this says normal. Well, let's go take the farm first for more practice. Enemy territory. Since your homeland fell, the invaders have built military bases and reinforced all settlements and facilities. You've defeated enough enemies to liberate this uh, province. You'll get closer to the capital and the invaders' borders. Ah, yes, Denmark, our all true enemy. Actually, I think it's probably the Netherlands. Sorry, Dutch, but I had to throw you under the wheels. <laughs> all right, there we go. Okay, so if we clear out the fort, then we clear out this province, and then we get extra support. So that would definitely be cool thing to do. Let's give it a shot. So now we're fully repaired. Let's suit up. Military structures. Deploy squad. Start camp. Combat. We're going to start some combat right here. Going in. Going to be a military veteran. Alright. What do we got? Two enemies that are just going to move behind us. Oh, dude. We're just going to pop you right away. Alright. Shotgun lady. You do your thing. Go ahead and shot and then gun. There we go. Just Oh, yeah. Just peek around the corner, ma'am. And, uh, man, I really want to see the robots do melee. One of the coolest uh, moments in video game histories for me is when, uh, yeah, so the multiple video game histories is when Metal Gear Rex and Metal Gear Ray fought in Metal Gear Solid 4. That was so cool. Like, they're just fist fighting and all sorts of cool stuff. All right. So at the end of your turn, go ahead and start opening fire. So shoot, shoot him in the shooty bit right there. And then open fire again as he's running away. Ooh, right there. Beautiful. 100% effectiveness right in the kill range. Nice. Then let's take you and uh, let's see. Where are you going to go, bro? Is this going to be like behind? I hope he doesn't run in front of the shotgun blast. I don't know how to time that. Oh, he's actually going to plow right through him. Uh-oh. Okay, what do we do? Well, we could wait for a second, I guess. Well, I don't want to wait for the whole turn. But we can start our move a little later. So let's try this. Oh, no. We'll just have him go this way. It's fine. That guy is probably going to be dead from her shots. So let's go. That's oh, going to be at the end right there. 
Any shoot here though? 80, 91 percent. All right, take a shot. Let's go. Oh, nice. Woo! Damn, she got some heavy hits on him though. All right, you go ahead and keep on moving. Oh, he's got a shield. Oh, let's just keep on shooting though. Okay, you go ahead and continue to fire here. Uh, that's the enemy right there. I don't know who we're going to be shooting at. That guy's going to be retreating. Just keep him pinned down. You just keep shooting, bro. Ammunition is free. Just like freedom. No, freedom isn't free. Neither is ammunition. Okay, cool. And let's go ahead and start taking some back shots on these boys. Wow, we're gonna like, we're we gonna melee here. I want to see what happens. Let's let's actually see. Uh, finalize order to continue. Yeah, I'll have uh, that with the side of fries. Thanks. Okay. I want to see what happens. Oh damn! You just get pushed out of the way. An unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Cool. All right, girl, hit him, hit him with that uh, shoddy. Hit him with that shorty shoddy. Oh, is it too close range? Oh. All right, girl, back it up. Right about here, he's going to be back within range. So open up again. Then move forward. And make another shot. That's for this guy. We're going to need you to chase him down. And while he's running, make a shot right now. And towards the end of your move, shoot one more again. Boom. Okay, let's see how that works. Yeah. Oh, these two are going to crash right into each other. Oh, just finish them off, baby. Just finish them off. That is awesome. Glory to Raptoria for all you longtime supporters. Let's get those Pinto Blasts down below in that comment section. If you're a member, let's just let them have it. Just just take our nation back. Who cares about salvaging? We have to send a, a message. It's not about beating the mission. It's about sending a message. Let's do it. Okay, she's actually over here. Just, just unload. Just, just to the face. Just destroy. Rush. Just kill it before they lay eggs. These guys are going to bump into each other. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. This dude is down. And reinforcements have arrived. Oh, boy. Can we do this? I don't know. If you guys want to see more of this game, make sure you click tap below up and destroy that like button. What a cliffhanger. But... I will be back for more with your support. Phantom Brigade available now. Can we take the fort? Time is short, but your support is never ending. Thanks again for being here. You guys are fantastic. And thank you very much for just cheering me on in every game. We'll see you guys next time. That was a lot of damage. 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 No, that's a, lot, that's of a damage. lot of damage. I know. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. And thanks for being here. Take care.